I'm Andrea Getchis. I am a senior design principal and I work with districts across the country to help them change how they orient towards students and to be more student-centered. We really start by asking people what they want and what's really valuable in the culture that they already have. So when we're thinking about shifting culture, we ask our district partners to think about three things. So we walk the talk, stay responsive, and let others lead. When you're walking the talk, first you need to determine what the common purpose is so that you're all moving towards the same goal. You're also providing choice to the leaders in the room. People have ownership over their own development. They're way more invested when they have a choice between how they engage. When you're staying responsive, you're honoring the perspective of people in the room. Uh, people don't like to be talked at, they like to be engaged. So when you ask, do an unofficial poll and ask people uh, who's in the room, what are they liking, who are they, why are they in this workshop, that gets them really excited. You take those cues and that feedback and you respond to feedback. What are the questions that they're asking? What are the resources that they're attracted to? What is their body language telling you? Based on that feedback, you're adjusting your plan and you're being responsive. So often when we lead, uh, we really want to stay in control of everything that's happening. We want to make sure that we're very measured and calculated and know exactly what the outcome is going to be. But part of being a strong leader and shifting culture is allowing others to lead. So even though that can be a little bit uncomfortable, letting people struggle through that a bit allows them to elevate their own leadership. When you identify their strengths and give them the opportunity to grow, then the next step is really just to stand back and watch them flourish and celebrate uh, what's going well, provide feedback as needed, but really letting them become the leaders that they need to be. So those are three tips for shifting culture in your district. If this was interesting to you, if you want to learn more, please feel free to check out our resources. We have a lot on our website, but give us a call. We'd love to connect further.